Hi everybody, so as you can see from the title, uh, I have been having seizures and I have had seizures a couple random times throughout my life. Um, seizures run in my family. Trigger warning, by the way, I'm going to be talking about seizures and medical things. So basically, last year they started and then a few, like a handful of months ago, they started to get worse. I finally was hospitalized for them a couple of times. And this last time I went to a very great hospital um, and they put me on something called Keppra, which is an epilepsy medication. Now they did something called an EEG on my brain to see if they could catch seizure activity. They try to induce seizures to see that your brain waves and see what the electrical activity is doing. But basically they found that I was having non-epileptic seizures and that I have functional neurological disorder, which makes sense and lines up. I have POTS, I have other dysautonomia things like that. Like that. Um, but I'm also having what they believe is temporal lobe epileptic seizures. Uh, I had something called hydrocephalus when I was a toddler. Basically, that means extra water on the brain, cysts on the brain, things like that, and it magically went away. Um, personally, I think it was the power of prayer, but that's just me. Um, I didn't learn to walk and talk till much later than like the usual age range. I had to do birth to three classes, developmental classes. I stayed back in kindergarten. I do have a learning disability. And all of these things can lead to young women getting temporal lobe epilepsy, the doctor said, the neurologist. Now, I have not met my own neurologist yet. I meet her on Tuesday. But for now, I was seizure-free for a long time, for a few months. But unfortunately, there was a lapse in my medication from insurance, CVS, my visiting nurses, things like that. And I couldn't get the meds. So I am on Lamictal and Keppra and they were working well. I stopped driving. I don't have a car right now anyway, so that's not a problem. But these seizures were debilitating. I mean, they almost had to intubate me twice. I had seizures today and went to the hospital. And obviously I look a lot better now, but they had to give me medication to stop the seizures. Um, the port, obviously my chest helps a lot to have access but now they're talking about surgery in my temporal lobe to help the seizures and fnd and, and temporal lobe epilepsy um i don't really know too much about the seizures because i'm not fully conscious but i have went to the bathroom on myself thrown up um you're like urinated on myself and i'm being open about this because it's something we go through you know and I did have a couple instances where I was having non-epileptic seizures, not epileptic ones, and I have gotten stigmatized and judged about it and told that I was faking it, and that's just not the case at all. Um, a lot of people can actually have both epilepsy and um, functional neurological disease or disorder, sorry. Um, they actually want me to go to Boston. I'm in Connecticut because Boston has a lot of information and doctors who deal with FND and epilepsy, but basically I just wanted to make this video because I know that a lot of my family members have been nervous about me and friends, family, boyfriends, family even, and it's, I've always been very open, but this is how, this has been very scary. Um, now I'm needing nurses twice a day here to give me morning meds and night meds, excuse me, hiccup, <laughs> um, because with the epilepsy and the seizures, I, eh, I get really out of it or I have memory loss. I smell the different things happen. Like I smell something in my aura and an aura is actually a mini seizure. People sometimes get them before they have a seizure and mine is I smell burning. I get confused. I kind of look like I'm sleepwalking, which happened today. Uh, I go like that with my tongue a lot during the seizures. I had grand mal seizures today. I'm putting a smile on, but I'm, I'm in pain mentally and physically and I'm exhausted, but honestly, I'm trying to keep my faith, trying to stay in, 
hang in there. I have lots of friends and family who love and care about me, but trust your gut when it comes to your health because I'm finally getting help for these seizures and they're not in my head. You know, they're being treated with medication and hopefully they keep working. I'm on the meds again now. I have emergency meds if I need them. Um, seizures are no joke. I recommend for those of you who don't have seizures to look up seizure safety because you could save someone's life. And, you know, if you feel funny, say something, keep track of it, write it down. I'm gonna be giving you guys an update after I see my neurologist, my epilepsy doctor on Tuesday. And I mean, I'm doing pretty good. You just can't miss meds. And I happen to miss a couple of meds here and there and I had seizures because of it. So as crummy as that is, it kind of proves that I need the medication, which in a way made me feel seen and heard. And epilepsy, like I said, runs in my family. They think that there could be like some scarring or something on my temporal lobe from hydrocephalus. And, you know, I've been through a lot, but I'm still Zoe. I'm still me. And I want to say thank you for, to everybody for their support. It's been really amazing. And I hope you guys have a great day and subscribe if you're not.